I knew that I was in love with the art, but to have the work have no relevance, and I realized that I didn't know what it was for. And then I suddenly got terrified that I was about to spend a life to no meaning, I mean, to not make meaning. And I began to systematically figure out how the work could have meaning. My earliest memories are my mother coming home from um, the factory, her jacket smelling like rubber and her hair smelling like rubber, and that it was, you know, really awful and that, you know, uh, that it was in her clothes uh, from the factory. I was born in the home for unwed mothers, which must have been quite a thing for my mother, a very Catholic woman. And in those days, Watts was not the place it is today, a place that I recall with chicken farms. It was agriculture in the region, and I would work, walk through fields to church. The, probably the first pieces of art that I ever saw in my life were the arts in the church, sitting in the pew and studying the imagery within the church. My grandmother would take me on the trolley car to the Central Market from Watts, and we used to come up along Bunker Hill. On the trolley car, we would go past Watts Towers. And there, I actually saw Simon Rodia building the towers. Uh, it was a straight arrow from kindergarten straight through to the university and the arts. The art was always the center of what I wanted to do and be. And it wasn't to say that I wasn't a good student. I was a good student in other areas. But drawing and painting was the thing. It was just always that. Uh, lucky for me that I found also teaching as a way of uh, never having to worry about, you know, selling painting as the only way to live, which would have probably been quite disastrous and would have discouraged me. But instead, I became a teacher and I also made the art. And I tried to make the art speak exactly to the issues that our communities faced. The Great Wall is pretty impressive. It's a half a mile long work. Uh, but the Robert F. Kennedy is my ultimate piece. And it is about teaching through the arts by allowing the gift of creativity in our cultural experiences to be given to the children.